look what showed up on my doorstep again this week. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new stopping on by, I hope you'll subscribe for some new fun fashion videos. I have another Nadine West bag. I'm so excited to get into this bag and see what I got this time. Let's go ahead and pull out the first bundle. Okay, so this was a bundle, I think. <laughs> the tissue paper kind of fell off, but um, these are the items that came out of the first bundle, so let's go ahead and take a look through these. I like that color there. So the first item that I see, oh, is this a little skirt? I think this is a little skirt. Ooh, that could be kind of cute. It looks like it might be small, though. <laughs> um, but this looks like a little cream. I think it's cream, maybe white, um, skirt with red roses on there. That could be really cute for Valentine's Day. Um, but it does look a little small, maybe a little tight pencil skirt um, style. So I will give that a try and see what how that one fits. So this is... Actually, is this navy? Yeah, this is navy and white stripe or maybe cream striped. This is a striped dress or long tunic. I'll have to look and see what it is. It actually has a v-neck here and that's either in the front or in the back. I'm not really sure. It seems like it might fit like a boat neck in the front and kind of like a deep v in the back. Um, so that could actually be really cute. Looks like maybe like swing dress style, but a little bit cinched in at the waist. So long sleeve dress, that could be a possibility. And then this actually looks like a scarf. And it actually has little shamrocks on it. So that's actually kind of cute. Not a typical color for St. Patrick's Day <laughs> that I would think of. Um, I don't know if I would wear shamrocks any other time. So that's interesting to me. So this is an infinity scarf and oh my gosh, I really do like this color. This coral color is one color that I really enjoy. Um, but again, the shamrocks, that's a little random, <laughs> I think. Um, to have on a scarf. That's a little bit weird to me to have on a scarf um, that's not green for St. Patrick's Day. So I don't know about that. We will give that a try and see if that will work out with any of these other pieces. Then we've got something like a deep purple plum kind of color. And this, oh, this just looks like a basic sweatshirt actually. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is, a basic sweatshirt. Oh, but the bottom is a little bit unique. It actually has a kind of like a overlapping crisscross bottom. I'll have to show you that when it's on. Um, that's a little bit hard to see right now with that dark color, but that's like a dark plum color. That could be an okay color for me. I'm not quite sure, um, but we'll give that a go. And then the last item in this bundle, we've got something navy and white striped these are like those palazzo pants again <laughs> so very flowy very wide leg with this actually does have a belt too that goes around the waist um so i'll try those on they actually look a little bit big maybe for me but i'm not quite sure so you will try those and let's see what our next bundle is this bundle looks like a lot of good colors for me and there's also a few jewelry pieces in here okay, what is this brown thing this is something brown. Oh, this looks huge. Oh my gosh, I like can hide behind this. <laughs> um, but this is, what size is that? That's a size small. That is very huge. Um, it's a really stretchy material. Um, seems like it would be really comfortable, kind of like a chocolate brown color with buttons down the front um, and with a tie here at the bottom. Um, but again, that looks super big. It's probably supposed to be like the oversized kind of style, um, but we'll have to see how we like that on. Ooh, I see some animal print. I'm excited about this. Oh, okay, so this top is a long sleeve t-shirt. It's like navy. It's really, like, feels like it would be really comfy and stretchy, but on the side, some animal print, which I really have been liking lately. And that's a good color animal print for me too. A nice warm brown and ivory kind of shades there. Um, just kind of a cute little detail on the side, each side of the top. 
So that's really interesting. I hope that fits. I like that. So hopefully that will work. We've got something black. I think these are leggings. These seem like they'd be really stretchy. And they've got like a pocket on the side for your cell phone, I think. Um, they look like they'd be a little short, so maybe they're like the 7th, 7 eighth length, possibly. Um, but, yeah, so just your standard stretchy legging, which they actually seem like they'd be really comfortable and really good quality materials, so we will give those a try. And here's something floral. With some good colors, I think, actually. We've got some pink and mustard and brown and black in there. Let's see. It seems like a lot of material. It could be a dress. Let's see. That is a dress. It looks like it might be big. Or it could be cute. Who knows? Um, we'll give it a try. But it actually has buttons down the whole entire front. Like all the way down to the bottom. Seems like it'll be like a midi length possibly. Um, and it's got little ties on each sleeve there and kind of like a cinched in waist with like some gathering there so hmm, that's interesting to me i'm hoping that that will fit it does look a little wide though but that could work so that's interesting i guess the word of the day is interesting and then we have some accessories here so let me take a look at these these are some little earrings oh these are kind of unique so these, excuse the band-aid on my hand, that is from a little incident the other night with a knife and some broccoli. So thank you very much, broccoli. <laughs> it was good broccoli, but I did injure myself in the process. Um, but yeah, these earrings are actually really cute. They're kind of like, I don't know if you call this resin, um, but like a plastic. And the top has a little black circle there. Um, so those are actually kind of cute. Not colors that I would wear. I wish they were a little bit different color scheme, but those are actually pretty cute style. So I don't know. I might consider those. This looks like this is just a regular white bracelet, but it actually has a little charm on there. You can see it, but it says blessed actually. And I have a lot of graphic tees. I didn't realize, I've been getting into graphic tees a lot lately and I didn't realize that a lot of the ones that I have been purchasing have the word blessed in them. <laughs> so apparently I like that kind of thing, but this is kind of cute. So I don't know, I might like that as a cute little accessory. And then it looks like the last thing that we've got here are some sunglasses, which I've never gotten from Nadine West. These look giant. <laughs> They're probably in style. I <laughs> don't think I look good in most sunglasses. I think I look like a bug. Um, but let me just try these on right now and see if they're even a possibility. So here we go. <laughs> am I a movie star or am I a bug? I don't know. Um, if I move the tag and you can see my ring light, so that's not really helping anything. <laughs> but, um, Wow, those are pretty big. I don't know. I don't know if those are my style, but that's kind of fun to get some sunglasses in, in the box for a change. So, okay, so that's all the pieces in my bag this time. Um, I am going to go ahead and pan down and show you an outfit of the day before I go and start the try-on here. So this top is from Loft. I believe I got it from Loft Outlet or maybe just Loft. I can't remember now. Um, but I love these little sleeves. I don't know if you call this like a tulip sleeve um, with the ruffling, um, but that's just so my style. I love the feminine detail of the ruffle and this color, this darker coral, almost like I've been calling it like a spiced coral because it's kind of like I don't know, almost like a dusty rose version of coral, um, but I love it. And um, so this is a little top that I got from there. It's like a mixed media top, so it's a different uh, material on the back, like a blousey material on the front and like a t-shirt material on the back. There's that top, and I just have get down a little further. I just have my Maurice's skinny jeans on and then my shoes are one of my favorite pair of shoes that I've gotten recently. These are from Target. They're like a little um, faux suede wedge sneaker 
and I love these. They're really cute. They just zip on the side and I feel like they can be kind of dressy or casual. Um, so that was a recent shoe purchase that I am very happy with. So that is my outfit of the day and now I will go on to the try on. got my first top on here. This I was most excited about so I wanted to try it on first. Um, but this is the navy blue long sleeve t-shirt. Um, it's very comfortable. It's very like lightweight but stretchy and really really soft. And this is the one that has the um, leopard print on the side which I think is so fun. Um, it's kind of long so it's definitely like a tunic length top or it can be a tunic length top. Um, but I don't know I might could maybe even just like partial tuck it here in the front and make it still work as a regular size top. I'm not sure. I'd have to play around with it, but um, this is really comfortable and really cute. So let me come a little closer to show you the detail on the top. So that's what the leopard looks like on the side, and I like it. It's like a varied pattern. So it's got some of the ivory colors and then a couple warm brown shades in there. Just kind of a unique top and I really do like navy. Um, I like wearing navy as one of my neutrals um, in my wardrobe. So yeah, this top is pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll go ahead and try on the next item. top on here um, but I just decided to go ahead and try the infinity scarf on and I figured I could just try it with this solid navy background um, so this would be the infinity scarf again I like the color of it um, it's a good color for me this like coral color um, but I just find it a little strange to have the shamrocks on there um, without it being like St. Patrick's Day colors and themes, so I don't know, let me know what you think. I'm not a huge scarf person, I've been trying to get into them a little bit more, um, but I don't know if this would be a winner. It's really soft, it seems like a nice fabric, um, one that you would probably have to hand wash or wash on delicate and then not put in the dryer, but um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just going to keep like messing with it. But <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the Infinity Scarf. I just thought I would try it while I had this navy on as a possibility, but um, let me know what you think about that item and I'll go grab the next. Okay, so here is the next top. As I suspected, this one is pretty big. Um, I can't tell how it looks. I think it's supposed to be oversized kind of style um, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like the dolman sleeve I think it is because there's no true like armpit it just kind of like continues into like a bat wing here um, so I think it's supposed to be like the dolman sleeve um, with the buttons I love this color I think this is a really flattering color and again this really comfy um, soft material yeah so I'm, now I'm seeing this sleeve um, seam here so it's like a drop shoulder dolman type style top, but it's got the tie here in the front and I don't know if it's supposed to be over top of leggings um, is why it would be so long um, and oversized, but I'll have to watch this and see how I think that this looks on me because it feels pretty baggy, but again, that might be the style that they're going for on this. It is pretty comfortable. I have to say it's a really soft, stretchy, comfortable fabric again. Um, so I'll show you from the back. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look and see how this looks on me because it is pretty comfy. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think. this is the box of comfort or the bag of comfort I should say um, this is so comfortable this is that plum purple almost like a grape purple I guess 
um, sweatshirt. It's very lightweight, um, but very comfortable. And it's got the, let me show you show you it's got the seam or the hem down here that is like at a crisscross I still don't know if you can see that but um, I'm kind of pulling it down over my butt <laughs> um, for the leggings but these are also an item from the bag these are those leggings um, and they've got the little side pocket here on both sides these are really comfortable um, I'm surprised I didn't know if I was gonna like these or if they were gonna be too small but I think they actually fit really well and they are really super comfortable. They're really soft and I know there's a lot of leggings these days that have the pockets on them. That's kind of an in thing for leggings and um, that's kind of a trend for leggings right now um, to put the cell phone pocket in there. So those are really, really cute actually and really, really comfortable. So I actually really like both of these pieces. I don't know if this purple is the best purple for me. Um, but even just for a loungewear piece at home, I actually really, really like it because it's not too heavy. So I don't feel like I'm going to get, you know, too hot wearing it, but it would be a nice layering piece to throw over top of leggings just to be kind of lounging around at home. So, yeah, I actually really like this outfit. Okay, so let me go get the next item on. Now this is my top that I already own, um, but these are the bottoms that did come in the bag and these are like those wide leg palazzo pants. I don't know if you can see my whole length here. These are actually really comfortable. Um, they're like a wide leg, I believe palazzo pants is the style name for that type of pants. There's no pockets. Um, it has like a little clasp on the side and goes really high waisted. Um, so I don't know if they're too small, but there's definitely no give here whatsoever. So I don't know if I sat down, if that would be incredibly comfortable. I found that Nadine West pants do run a little bit small. Um, so I did change my sizing in my profile, but I think this bag came before they got that message. But um, it does have a tie right here. And I don't know, these are kind of, <laughs> these are kind of cute. I don't know if they're my style. Um, yeah, I don't know if these are the style of pants that I would wear or look good in, but um, there's something kind of unique and fun um, to kind of think about. So let me know what you think. I don't think you can see my whole body here. So yeah, that's those wide leg pants. I kind of felt like I needed to pair kind of a dressier sweater top with them, so that's why I grabbed this green one, but um, yeah, let me know what you think of those, and I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, do we have a Valentine's Day outfit here? <laughs> let me pan down so you can see. So this top is actually mine. I've had this top, but the skirt is what came in the bag. Um, I feel like every bag that I get has at least one of these kind of bodycon pencil skirt type skirts. Um, this is pretty cute. I'll have to look back and see what this looks like. It's not too tight. It's a very stretchy material, so I do feel like I can move around in it. Um, it's definitely giving you that pencil shape, um, but... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I think it looks really cute with this blouse. <laughs> and it could be a good um, Valentine's Day outfit. But yeah, let me know what you think. Definitely not the kind of skirt I would normally wear. And I'm just a stay-at-home mom, so I'm not going anywhere to need anything business casual or even any date night <laughs> stuff right now. Um, but... I don't know, it could be a possibility for the future. So let me know what you think of this one. And I think I have two dresses to go. Okay, I don't know about this one. <laughs> uh, feels pretty wide right here. It feels a little, little House on the Prairie-esque. Um, 
it's a little big too, pretty low cut for me, I think. Um, I don't know, it's got like, it feels very feminine. I wish it fit a little bit tighter here. If it was a little bit better of a, a fit right here at the waist, the smallest part, um, I think it would be better, but it's just a little wide right here. Like I maybe could belt it. Um, let me show you the whole thing. So if you can see the whole thing, um, how long it is, it's kind of like a midi length. Um, let me show you the back. But I don't know, I feel like it feels a little matronly. Um, I don't know if that's the style. It does have the little ties on the sleeve here. So there's something about it that's like 50s housewife, maybe not. I don't know, I feel that like the style of the top is kind of like that but then the bottom is kind of too matronly and wide in the style um but yeah let me know what one more dress to try on and i'll be right back okay last item this is a dress it's got pockets here it is like a navy blue and cream style dress. Again, it's that very soft and stretchy fabric. Um, this is really cute, but if you watched my very first Nadine West bag, I got something very similar to this. The only difference is there was a white band up here at the top. Um, but this is exactly what that dress is, only without the white band. So if I wouldn't have kept that one, I'd probably keep this one. In fact, I think I like this one better um, because it has the cute detail in the back. So I like that V in the back. I think that's just a nice detail, and I kind of like it without the white up here. Um, but again, I did keep a dress almost exactly like this in my first bag, so I'm probably not going to keep this one. But... Yeah, so that was my bag this time. Um, I didn't think it was too bad. There's actually several items that I'm really excited about in there. Um, so let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I think there was definitely some possibilities in there. Everything was so comfortable tonight. I don't know if they were <laughs> doing like a comfy theme or what, but I really, really like some of those pieces. They're super comfortable. So, um, and then I do have the jewelry again here. I already tried on the sunglasses for ya. <laughs> Movie star <laughs> or bug. And <laughs> um, the jewelry here, the bracelet and the earrings, which I don't wanna try them on if I'm not gonna keep them. They are unique. I just kinda wish there was some kind of gold on them or something colored here that wasn't black because I really don't wear black and gray very often at all. Um, so I really don't think they're going to work, but they're actually cute. I like the idea of them. So considering the bracelet though, cause that is something that I think that I would wear. I like that it says blessed on it and it's just a neutral white color that would go with a lot. So yeah. So, um, looking at my prices here, um, the most expensive item, which is the dress I'm wearing right now, actually is $40.49. Um, but a lot of the other things that I was interested in are under $25, either some of them are under $15 actually. So, um, really good prices in this bag. Um, I didn't say anything about Nadine West, um, but I, a lot of you that watch these videos actually know about it already. So I'll actually put in the description box down below, um, some details about Nadine West and a referral code. If you would like to try Nadine West, I believe that you can get $10 off your first box, which Nadine West is $9.78 shipping charge. And then, um, so if you get $10 off, you actually get that shipping charge waived. So you can actually try your first Nadine West box for completely free with no obligation to buy anything. So um, that's a really great way to give it a try. If you want to use that referral code below, I'd really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments which items you think that I should keep this time. Like I said, I think there are some keepers. I'm pretty excited. I like this bag a lot better than the last one. So thank you for your feedback. If you let me know how you felt about the last video, I really appreciate it if you did watch 
watch that one and um, I hope you enjoyed this one and if you again if you're new to my channel I would really appreciate it if you subscribe below I hope you'll come back to have some more fun with fashion with me so until next time bye